In today's video, I'll be showing you how to blur faces inside CapCut using the blur effect. The first thing I'm going to do is add my video clips. This is the main footage and will appear in the main timeline inside the CapCut project like this. After checking the format to make sure that it's 16 by 9 because I'm going to be uploading this to YouTube, I will add an overlay. In order to blur faces or anything else inside CapCut, you need to add an overlay. Tap on Overlay from the main toolbar and then Add Overlay. And make sure you add the exact same clip that you just added. Tap in the circle in the right hand corner, then tap on Add. Once you've added the overlay, the next step is to remove the background. This is because I'm going to apply a circular mask later in the video that surrounds Monique's face. Removing the background of your overlay will ensure that you only blur out the face of your subject. Swipe over and tap on Remove Background and CapCut will begin removing the background from your overlay layer. When this number reaches 100%, the background will be successfully removed. Don't close your app or lock the screen while this is happening because if you do, you'll have to repeat this part of the process as it will not work properly. I've sped this up so you don't have to watch the entire process, but it does take some time depending on the length of your video. When you remove the background, it will be much easier to apply the circular mask to your video clip. The background has been successfully removed. Let me show you what that did. Swipe over and tap on Opacity. When the slider comes up, bring the slider down to zero. Move it all the way to the left, like this. You should see your subject in front of a black background. I'll bring the opacity back up to 100% and select the overlay layer one more time. Next, you need to add a circular mask. This is because faces are round. With your overlay selected, swipe over and tap on Mask. It's right next to the chroma key option. This is what you see when you open the mask toolbar. Tap on Circle to select it. Make sure the mask widget surrounds the entire face of your subject. Tap on Effects from the main toolbar, then Video Effects. Then tap on Basic, swipe down, and find Blur. It should be located next to Shake. Tap Blur to select it. Notice the background has blurred a little bit because the effect has been applied to the main layer. Next, tap on the check mark. Long press on the end of the effects bar and drag it out to the end of the video because you'll want to blur your subject's face for the entire video. Tap on your effect to select it. And then tap on adjust. The slider that appears will let you control the amount of blur you see in the video. Moving it to the right increases the blur and to the left decreases the blur. Because I'm blurring a face, I'll bring it all the way up to 100%. And you can see that the effect is applied to the main layer. So next, select the effect once more by tapping on it, and then tap on Object. And then tap on Overlay to apply the effect to your overlay layer instead of the main layer. Now, only your subject's face will be blurred out. Play the clip to check that your subject's face has not become separated from the blurred area. If it did, you could use keyframes to correct it, or just make your circular mask bigger. But this looks pretty good. Keyframes are not required unless your subject is moving, like say in an action video. But for this video, since it's just Monique sitting there talking about the vacation she'll be taking, this method works perfectly.
If you're satisfied with your blur, tap on the export icon to export your video. Wait patiently for the export to finish. Don't close CapCut or lock your screen while the export is happening because if you do, the video won't export properly and you'll have to repeat the process. That is to say that you'll have to do it again. Recently I was asked how to share videos you export out of CapCut. When the export is finished, you'll notice some social media icons will appear on the next page. To share the video that you export, just choose the platform that you want to share it to and then tap on that icon. You can share it to WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook, and even TikTok. Once the export finishes, you can find the exported video inside your camera roll. The export is complete and there's the social media icons. I am flying to BC with my boyfriend Mike and it's my very first time on a plane that I've never flown before so I'm so excited. This is like one of my dream come true, a very big dream come true for me. Um, I'm so excited for the new adventures that I'm going to have with him and his family. We're going to his stepbrother wedding which I'm so excited for and we're going to be camping on a beautiful island and I get to spend a lot of time with his family and, uh, and just get away from my everyday life and it's something that I have never been more excited about doing than this. It's something that I'm dr I've been I've been literally dreaming about for like a couple months now. I'm I'm just thrilled. I'm so excited. I feel like jumping up and down. I'm so excited. And to go on a plane, like yeah, it's scary because I've never been on one. But the adrenaline and the excitement that I have, like the rush, the feeling that I have in me right now, I'm gonna I'm really like screaming. I'm so excited because I'm leaving in 20 days and I'm so excited. <laughs> It's gonna be awesome, it's gonna be fun, I get to go away, I'm gonna be away on my birthday. So I'm gonna have a special time in BC for my birthday with Mike and his family. And I'm so excited and I love you Mike.